I believe I've solved the problem of finding a way to auto-load PHP Mailer. I haven't tested it yet, and that's why I'm not sure about this, okay? So bear with me here. All right, now what is the problem that we're trying to solve? This is a sample script for sending email. It's going to, PHP is going to come across this line here, which is going to try to instantiate a new PHP mailer object. And remember the spelling, PHP mailer with capital PHP and M. Okay. So how did I solve this problem? It turns out that the auto, you know, this function over here, which the course told me I should have for auto loading. Well, as of PHP, I think it's 5.3. My version is, I think, 5.49 or something. This is the old way of doing it. What I'm about to show you is the new way of doing it. The new way is there can be multiple autoload functions that you can define, and you can name them whatever you want. As long as you run this function call here, which is SPL autoload register, and then the name of the function that you want to be as an autoload function. And you can run this command several times for each one of those autoload functions, which you define. Okay. So I made a function called load main class. And this has been registered as an autoload function by calling this function SPL autoload register. So now when PHP comes across this line, which tries to instantiate an object of class PHP mailer, it goes down all the registered auto load functions. And for me, I only have one. So I, this is mine. And it's registered as an auto load. PHP is going to pass to the auto load function, the name of the class for which it is trying to instantiate an object. So that'll be dollar class name. Now this line over here, and trust me, it works, is going to assign the path to, okay, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, this is the includes path. This is the directory separator. I defined that as a constant in the, the initialize.php file. And then it's going to have the name of the class in lowercase letters. So PHP mailer is going to be all lowercase. And then it's going to append .php. So this is going to be the path to this directory here. And by the way, this is going to be running in my virtual machine. So this won't be the actual path. But it'll find the path to the includes directory. Okay. And then it'll find PHP mailer.php in it. So we have the path to the file we want to include for PHP mailer. And if it's readable, it's going to include it. Otherwise, it's going to kill the script with this message. So that's my solution. And that's it for this video. There's probably going to be another video continuing this topic, though.